and of why we are live. <laughs> I'm going to start my my little clock here, so I stick to my half hour. And uh, hi, everybody. This is R.J. Ogren, um, and this is painting with R.J. Ogren, for lack of a better title. I'm going to paint a chipmunk today. I hope everybody is doing good. Um, share this with your friends tell them i'm on uh and as you know i do post this uh when the sh when the show it's a show now i had to go shave my wife says you're not going on like that i went okay <laughs> anyway it's been a crazy week i wasn't on last week because we went to a book signing in uh virginia which was great and um um, you know, when I left, the day before I left, I was painting a duck, which is on this painting, and I um, stopped in Louisville on the way to stay with our good friends, where a few months back I painted a castle for them on a wall, and then uh, we went to Lexington and actually stayed in the Sheridan livery where horses used to be. Don't ask. It's, it's a beautiful hotel and restaurant now, <laughs> but I painted horses and a carriage there, which is in the restaurant. And then we came home and now I'm painting a chipmunk. I lead a strange life, but it's fun. So, <laughs> and today uh, I was having trouble getting everything set up because um, I was running out of time. Um, we had to go out this morning to buy more stretcher frames, more canvas, because I have quite a few commissions. Thank you all. And, uh, oh, Oh, Andrew, you're here. Hi, Andrew. Uh, Sarah, and you just got the painting of Main Street. Oh, yes. Um, and um, and Ingeborg. Yes. Hello, everybody. Um, yeah, uh, we went out also to buy um, uh, C's candy. I got a pound of candy for tomorrow. And uh, because tomorrow's my birthday, I'll be uh, 39. What? Uh, <laughs> it's been a rough life uh, and Holly and Rick just sent me this card let me see if I can get it in there yeah it says uh, if you get in trouble on your birthday I don't want to hear about it of course it's Tinkerbell and it said we want to participate thank you Holly and Rick I love that um, and tomorrow night we're going to the Tiki Terrace uh, in Chicago um, I Suzanne and I love Polynesian food uh, they also have uh, Tahitian uh, Hawaiian dancers. It's a great show, great place to eat. Looking forward to it. Um, been in love with uh, anything um, Polynesian since I was stationed in Hawaii for a year before I went to Vietnam. And during that time, I went down to Bora Bora and Tahiti. Wow. Can't afford it. Good thing that I was with on the Navy's time and, and uh, going along to take pictures. So anyway, enough of that. Um, I'm going to uh, put on my glasses so I can see. <laughs> I had to go get a, my license renewed today. And and uh, I just looked into the thing. Uh, she says, okay, read the line, read the letters. <laughs> I'm going like, uh, I don't think I got it, any of them right. She still said I didn't need to wear glasses. So um, watch out for me on the road. I <laughs> hold on, don't go away. I'm reaching behind me. Oh yes. Um oh happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Now everybody's gonna be saying happy birthday. I lied. It's not tomorrow. Yes it is, it's May twelfth. Always has been. I was born just weeks before D Day. Oh, do the math. Ah. <coughs> My mug. Disney mood bug of the day, the beast. Yeah, I'm not sure which one. I guess I'm the, I'm the happy one today. Okay, there we go. And now I actually uh, remixed some colors. And to explain what's going on here, uh, you can see the trees. I've done work on the trees and, um, and the leaves. The leaves are not done. And the reason that some leaves are white uh, the orange leaves, the green leaves, uh, and the white leaves, which will become yellow leaves, uh, will have two different uh, shades of that color in each one. Uh, you know, there'll be two shades of orange, two cha shades of green, etc. But the reason that the other leaves are white, uh, you paint them anytime you work with uh, 
uh, yellow and uh, red and orange, it, it's very difficult to cover. Uh, you'll keep painting over and over and over and just keep bleeding through. So it works really well if you paint it white first, let it dry and then paint it. And uh, so, so like on this um, um, leaf up here, let me show you. See, I'll come back in and put some um, other, a little bit of orange into it. A little bit of the character. Enough of that. Let's work on the chipmunk. Um, <laughs> uh, anyhow, yes. Tiki Terrace tomorrow night. I'm looking forward to that. Indeed. <clears throat> I'll start with this brush. <laughs> okay, I, I think you, I gotta get that just right. You can see I pre-mixed some colors uh, for him. And this is Chip. Do you know how to tell the difference between the two chipmunks? Chip has the dark, the black nose, dark brown nose. Um, and so they all, you always think of uh, chocolate chip cookies. And of course, the other is Dale, who has the red nose. Also, Chip has uh, one tooth, and Dale has two. That's your Disney lesson for today. Uh, what I'm gonna do first is just put in um, the base color in here, and uh, of each color. Yeah, I laid them out in pencil first, um, and the great thing again about acrylics, because then I painted over it in white so that I wouldn't get any, um, wouldn't get too messy with the pencil coming through. He has, he has a chesticle. Uh, <laughs> okay. So his chest is this light color. The bottom of his feet are that light color. Hey, I might have something I'll almost get done in a half hour. Okay. If any of you live in the Chicago area, this Saturday there are two shows and one on Sunday of Midsummer Night's Dream that uh, my son, Sean, and uh, my wife, Suzanne, directed. It's a great show with veteran actors in it. Uh, it's a very funny show, um, if you can. And it's, you can look on, on my uh, group sites and on this site and see the thing for Midsummer Night's Dream. You can click on it and uh, there's a link. It'll take you to Bard and the Burbs, which is the company um, my son started, our son. And uh, this is the second show. In the spring, we are doing Hamlet, and I get to be the ghost of the king, <laughs> and a grave digger in another scene with my grandson, which should be hysterical. This is like a coloring book right now, isn't it? Hey. <laughs> And one more thing that's in this color is the inside of his ears. It's funny, you see different pictures of the chipmunks in different places. Sometimes the uh, chest ear, inside the ears and uh, the face is white. It's really weird. Uh, the only thing that's white on, on him besides the eye is his tooth and his uh, mouth and his nose. Not his nose nose, his jowl. What do you call it? Okay. Um, <laughs> no, I have not had a drink. I'm drinking coffee. I'm always like this. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> Eight o'clock coffee is really good, and I put uh, flavors in it. My favorite is uh, peppermint mocha. Oh, let's see who else is here. Oh, Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Uh, Mike. Peter. Thank you, Peter. Nice. And Tiffany and 
didn't say happy birthday to me. Caleb, it's your birthday today? Um, or tomorrow? Well, happy birthday. Oh, everybody who's got a birthday today is joining in. Uh, again, I'm RJ Ogren. Um, and if you don't know me, I was uh, one of the four original audio animatronic artists at Walt Disney World in the 70s and in the early 80s. Well, I said that without messing it up. Um, all right. Anyway. So did you answer me, Caleb? <laughs> when is your birthday? Um, all right. Now we'll paint in. Again, you know, it looks, <laughs> I'm actually painting sideways I'm, to the canvas so you guys can see it. So it's uh, certainly not the weirdest uh, of positions I've been in to paint things. There's one mural I did that's, a, a, you can actually see it, I think it's on the website, our website, and it was uh, in a child's room, and they had this alcove with a ladder going up to it. It was very weird. It was like uh, two feet deep and five feet across with a railing, and then, of course, the opening for the ladder. And the kid, it was kind of neat. You know, the child could go up in there and everything, but it looked kind of weird with nothing on the wall. So I painted a treehouse with, uh, and I painted uh, an animals around it. Uh, turned out the child was allergic to uh, all kinds of things that were in, even like in stuffed animals. So I painted the animals. But the strange thing was trying to paint inside that little area because I had to crawl up in there. I'm six foot. And uh, I had to squeeze in. I not only had to paint parts of the tree inside there, I had to paint, because there were railings, I went to look like a tree house. So I had to paint railings on the backside on the wall. Try to lay sideways like this and paint straight on. It was not fun. Well, it was fun. You just had to call the fire department to get me out. <laughs> I made that up. Um, I start laughing here and my lines will go weird. You ever notice the Chippendale's tails are not really long? <laughs> Chipmunks have tails that are about, well, maybe what, a third longer than what these are? They're definitely longer tails. We have a lot of chipmunks here in our yard, which is neat. And we're only going to be in the set. We've been in here almost six years. We, uh, the, woman we have rented from is very nice and she uh, is wants to move back in this house because she uh, sadly um, is getting a divorce well actually actually what she told us it's a good thing she's getting a divorce and um, uh, she grew up in this house and she's being great about it though she's giving us plenty of time to uh, find another place. And we are now looking uh, to buy after quite a few years, finally gonna buy it again. And uh, we're looking forward to it. I'm gonna make sure I have a bigger studio, even though the studio has been really neat. Um, I need more space and I wanna be where I have a lot more natural light. Come up here. Hey. Oh, top of foot. You do see part of his foot at this angle here. And uh, okay. Um, well, Michelle, hi. <laughs> nice to have you all here. Uh, share this with your friends. Tell them I'm live right now. Um, Uh, with the acrylics, if you if you haven't been with me before, or even if you have, doesn't matter. Uh, of course, they vi dry very quickly. Um, I used to be an oil painter years ago. Once I started doing acrylics, I never went. Well, I should say I never went back. I did get some requests to do some oils, but I prefer acrylics. And 
I like that they dry fast. I like the techniques I can get. Um, with dry brushing and overlays. That'll be blue right there. Yeah, here we see a little bit of his cheek. We got some hair standing up there. Here. Um, yeah, I know I've been doing this on Fridays until this week, uh, doing the video, but because tomorrow is my birthday, I actually will be painting. I'll, I'll be working on this painting. I want to get it done. Um, hopefully by tomorrow or Monday at the latest. And then I'm starting on uh, one that is a really neat concept. The next one, I've got some. I've got some pencil drawings. I got to do some preliminary sketches for some people. Um, and uh, people are coming up with such great ideas for painting and stuff. But the, the next one I'm working on right away, besides two more stretch room paintings, is um, a family in the boat um, on Bay Lake going to Fort Wilderness. And in the background, you see the Contemporary Hotel, and behind that, the Space Mountain and in the distance of the castle. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun to paint. Uh, I just got a commission. <laughs> Uh, from a very nice guy uh, who's a retiring police chief uh, here in the Chicago area. And I'm going to be doing a squad room uh, a la Roger Rabbit style. And then seven of the characters he's picked out are him at different times in his career in this police department. So each one will be in a different uniform, all kinds of neat things. Um, and there'll be some uh, cars, characters outside uh, the squad room. It's going to be fun. It'll be crazy. Okay. He's got his fists balled up here. So if I don't see his fingers splayed out. Now, I do have his, uh, you see a little bit of his eyelid because he's looking down. So that's the same color as the rest of him. And then, oh, you still there? Hi. I couldn't get the water in my face. <laughs> um, so, oh, that sounds cool. That's about what I just told you about the squad room. That is going to be really, really wild. Um, I'm going to be doing another one of uh, Castle, uh, another painting that's uh, pigment. Actually, going to have quite a few pigments in it. It's going to be like a montage type thing. Okay. And I need a little bit of red because the inside of his mouth has got red in it. Got my big tubes. Winter Newton. Winter Newton is really good. Okay, I'm gonna take this red and add a little bit of white to it. That's a little bit bright. But that's not going to stay. And then up inside his mouth, behind his tongue, that's actually his tongue there. I had a little bit of um, burnt umber. Okay, you're wondering, that's his tooth right there. Try to do this just so you can see it. There you go. Um, and then, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and put the base coat down there for his black nose. And there it is. All right. And 
brown, um, browns dry very quickly. something to do with what they use to make the color so um, it's it's dry that's great time for coffee um, oh so cute thank you um, Beth can I do wait a minute can I do a close-up on him when you are oh Sarah thank you that's a great idea I will I will move this up and get a closer picture of him. Okay. Yes. Excellent idea. All right. Now I'm going to do some shading. So what I will do, we'll start back here with the tail. I'll try not to stick my hand in the paint because I'm doing this sideways. And again, because acrylics dry so fast, I will mix colors in containers that I can close up. So I have like, I have this container here and that's actually the blue sky. And I can use the same blue a little bit when I do some shading on his uh, nose, mouth and, and uh, eyeball with the white. But then again, it allows me when I'm done to come in and touch up around the edges <coughs> with the blue. Okay, tail. And we are going to take, and what I did was I, I started with a uh, uh, burnt sienna and white, this color mixed together. And then I added burnt umber to it to get this darker shade that I'm putting on right now. And and I'm going to take some of the lighter color again and put there so I can. Now I'm going to blend them together. And since I want to put a little bit of, make it a little bit lighter on top, I'll actually take the same color that's on his chest and feet and use it to highlight the top of the tail. So when I get done painting him uh, completely, then I'll come back in and do another one. Oh. Do that. All right. Now we'll paint that part of his leg. What are you doing on time? See, the time just goes too fast. Got to be a way to stop. <laughs> uh, when my friend Bob Ross would paint, it was always amazing to me how he could squeeze that into a half hour. I got to do this quick because it's going to dry on me before I get shading done and I've got just a few minutes so I will shade his butt. Um, and under his leg here. I'm doing this as if the lighting is coming from, from the bright side. some highlight on top of his leg and his knee a little bit more okay create that roundness I'm going to come down a little further with it add a little more I don't think I'm going to stop it half an hour I decided to go with the four o'clock time uh, to see if more people could join in uh, live. But I didn't want to go too late either because uh, we've got people from England that 
have been joining us. And I think there's a six hour time difference from here in uh, um, Chicago. And I'm gonna shade this side of the delay. And it may be different because I don't think, if I don't recall England having uh, daylight saving time, which I hate, I hate that. Um, see, uh, time flies when you're having fun, that's true. Uh, <laughs> um, well, thank you for sharing, uh, Anna. And anyway, the, oh, and Suzanne got to play uh, Chip. Is it Chip or Dale? I think it was Chip. She only got to do it once, and when she was in characters, uh, doing Sleepy the Dwarf and uh, actually do it. She got to do all the characters at Disney World um, in the dwarf unit, and she loved doing Smee. She had so much fun with that character, but mostly the dwarf unit. But when it came to Chip and Dale, she was too short. Go <laughs> figure, right? My wife is five foot two, and um, that the costumes that that time of Chip and Dale uh, were for guys who were, or women who were six foot tall. But they had redone the costumes uh, some years later when Suzanne was in uh, entertainment management. And when Disney still had the wonderful Christmas parties that we would have that Eisner got rid of. Um, and I still not happy about that. But anyway, <laughs> uh, we had those wonderful Christmas parties and people in management uh, especially would fill in. There was a three nights of parties for all the employees of, of Disney. And the management people would fill in and take over jobs and do stuff. And Suzanne would go back in the costume. And she finally got to do chip and we have a great video of her doing that <laughs> with our son is in it and I'm in it. Um, but they had made the costume small enough so she could wear it. She was thrilled. But she did two or three sets that night. And the first time she came out, they, ha they have a spray that they'll spray inside the costume to keep the, uh, the eyes from fogging up. The eyes are a plastic that you can see through. And she, uh, one eye didn't get enough of this stuff on it and she could only see out of one eye. <coughs> so, but she had fun. All right, working my way. Now I gotta shade this side of the arm. With some darker shade here. Lighter color and get in here and use hand. Chipmunks don't have hands, um, but these guys do. And I'm going to take that light that's up there because that would be more correct. Moving right around. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I, I assume you heard the timer go off. <clears throat> I can't stop now. We're having fun. Somebody said, oh, you put those on YouTube, nobody will watch them. Eh, okay, fine. Um, they said, you have to do a 10 minute but not gonna work. Not everybody's painting. And who paints a chipmunk, right? I'm back. Okay, I better quickly do this arm. I stop doing coffee. Now you can see the volume uh, of the character coming out. Put it on this side. Down to the shoulder. 
and of course each time I do it I'm blending it. These are my happy trees. <laughs> Love you Bob. It was a great guy. Okay. Um, I'll stop now. I'll do the other leg real quick. And I'll come back to his head. I'll stop in a second and look to see what if anybody's asked any, anybody asked a question. But you share, share such wonderful stories. Well, thank you. I made them all up. No, they're true. Okay. <laughs> okay, what? Who was happy about Iger? Well, yeah, but... <laughs> See, you made me make a mistake. <laughs> Fortunately, Iger was better, but Eisner was horrible. Uh-oh, this is gonna go viral. We don't put, there's nothing negative in our books that Suzanne and I have out. Um, and we did that on purpose because we don't wanna get into the any negativity. Um, and we still love Disney, we still do. Um, don't like some of the changes, others we do like. But I've been trying to find out, I do not think that they have artists, audio animatronic artists like the four of us were um, there anymore. I think they actually are farming out the, uh, the artwork to contracting with outside artists to keep up the quality of the shows. And sadly, sometimes it shows. I know we went, oh, let's see, about six years ago, we went to Disney World and took our uh, two oldest grandsons who at that time were 16 and 15. And uh, we went into Country Bear Jamboree and one of the bears was not working. There was, uh, uh, there's, some of their faces were wet, which meant they had oil leaks. And worst of all, as the show ended, the, the three honey bears, I think they're called, are the three cute bears that are singing in the uh, downstage, um, all of a sudden just flopped over and just laid there. And I, I went up to the uh, young lady who was uh, handling the show and I says, uh, you should shut the show down. And she said, why? I went, uh, well, never mind. So, but we did go to City Hall and complain. And actually we were at Carousel of Progress and uh, some of them were not operating well and their faces were not done well. So then when we went back uh, two years ago, of course the whole thing had been rehabbed. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I, when I go in the park with people, I don't complain about stuff that I see because um, most of it looks really good. Although I still miss Snow White's Scary Adventure. <sighs> Ed Jerka, hey Jed, I made it. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> He's been complaining. You've been complaining about not being able to see me live and here we are. Um, <laughs> thank you. Others for uh, sharing this. Uh, if you're new to this, uh, I'm R.J. Ogren. I was an audio animatronic artist in the 70s at Walt Disney World with three other artists. And we had a ball uh, working on all the figures and all the attractions. Country Bear Jamboree, I love that. And I had to do a new fur one time for uh, Big Al, one of my favorite characters. He has a lot of fur. We had a heavy duty sewing machine. We had to learn how to sew the costume, the, the fur cloth. Uh, it, it was weird. We did the fur cloth on, on all the animals besides the skins, of course. But the uh, costume department did the costumes. And a fun little thing there is that with the, the 
especially in country bears. I didn't write this in the book, but I did write about the fact that the, the uh, ladies that worked in costume at that time, they would come in and they'd see the dogs in, in Carousel of Progress or the dog that's in the uh, last scene in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And they're supposed to be scruffy, but they couldn't resist it. They'd brush the fur out and make it look really smooth and nice and fake. So we would come in every morning. We would just go in and check. Oh, okay. We'd go over and rough it up with our hand and stuff. The next day it'd be brushed down again. But uh, they'd also do that with the bears. They kept, they couldn't resist from brushing the fur cloth. <laughs> Stop doing that. Um, but anyway, bears was fun. But Big Al had so much fur that it was really heavy to, to work with on that uh, sewing machine. All right, so I'm doing highlights on his head. Now, the first thing I ever did on a sewing machine, um, I had my mother uh, show me how to use her sewing machine in high school, and we were having a costume ball at the high school and I made a uh, whole outfit of a musketeer. The hat, the, the boots, everything. I actually have pictures of it. But I'm not going to show them. <laughs> not right at the moment. Anyway. Uh, wasn't too bad actually. When I interviewed for the job at Disney, it was one of the things they asked if I could sew on a sewing machine. I'm like, what? I was, uh, yeah. Not really knowing that I would be sewing fur cloths. Hey, I just got his arm. Oh, it's part of the face. I'm sorry. Almost forgot. This, I'm going to keep, I'll do a little bit of shading on that darker. Not much. All right. Now, do his arm here real quick. And doing on this side. thumb there. Okay. And then we will do highlight on the arm and on the top of his hand. Right there. Now you can see when I do all the line work on it, like I say, I'll I, and thank you, Sarah, because I will. I'll show a close-up. Um, oh, I uh, love the story about the oil spill and the bear jamboree. Yes, <laughs> one of the bears cried on the audience. Uh, it's in our first book. And Sarah, did you see what's hand-painted, Walt's hand-painted Disneyland map that's, oh, yeah, no, this thing just went right up and I missed the rest of it. <laughs> I can't scroll down right now. I think I'll look at it later and I'll answer that. Um, but anyway. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Uh, oh, is that Kelly? That's what I mean. I went and got my license because I got my birthday tomorrow, and I have a, a astigmatism in one eye, and I'm I'm starting to get a cataract. I couldn't believe that they said I don't need to wear my glasses, and I'm sitting there going like, what does that say? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> now I'm oh, here. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush to do lower lip. I'll do that first, and then I'm going to take a little bit of cerulean blue and white, a little bit. can't see what I'm doing. Just uh, whistle or have a drink or something. I'll be right back. Now, here we go. 
Um, okay. Let's put a little bit of blue shading there right there. I use paper towels now to clean my brushes on. I used to use uh, a rag, but it got to be really funny because the rag, you know, I put it on my, across my lap, and eventually my pants were full of paint too, so. tooth. This part. And I'll do a little bit of shading on this too on the outside. On the snout. Sometimes get going on a story. I mentioned earlier that I was stationed in Hawaii before I went to Vietnam, and I uh, got to go to um, Tahiti and Bora Bora while I was in Hawaii on a photo mission on a submarine. Well, that was fun. Um, it was. Um, but Suzanne and I had broken up in our senior year of high school, and uh, we hadn't really, we talked in school still, but um, she went off to college, and I went to service, and then a couple years later, just before I was going to Vietnam, I came home and uh, took her to dinner, and here we are many years later. It's going great. Yeah. Uh, it's a love story wonderful and she's my best friend but what was funny was that in those three years we We are live. Sorry for that. Poor internet connection. All right. Which one of you took my internet connection? <laughs> I turned around and it's got this message up on the screen. I went, hey. Um, but anyway, um, I came to realize all the girls I was dating were all five foot two and tiny like Suzanne. So it was obvious I was in love. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of this. Uh, when is the next book coming out? I saw that, and uh, we are working on it. It is actually going to be the uh, history of Walt Disney World, but uh, from our our personal perspective of actually living uh, through a lot of it. Um, we'll have uh, uh, stuff from other people inserted in there. We'll, Tidbits here and there, uh, some funny stories. Actually, times that we actually visited or we ended up in the shows because of uh, our friends working the shows, like um, Indiana Jones, uh, our good friend of ours, was uh, doing that show a lot. He was playing Indiana Jones, or he was the MC of the show, and he was MC. He would find me in the audience and bring me down. And, You've seen that show, you know what happened. So, anyway, so that's what it's going to be about. But it's going to be probably the first of the year. Sometime in the first couple months of the year that it's going to come out. Hey, look at that. Here, let's do this so that you can see this. I hope I didn't lose all of you when this thing went on me. But picture went out. It was only a momentary. I hope. Okay. Okay. A little bit of this. this is a blue that I saved of the sky, so I can come in and touch up. 
And I'll tell you what, I am going to um, really, my timer started again. <laughs> I will do one last little thing here so you can see a little bit of this uh, detail. I'm going to uh, do a little bit of a line work on him. Let's see, Let's just mix a little bit of, you don't want it to be too dark. And a little bit of water to it. If it's if it's not thin enough, it's gonna going to drag it on there. And here's the brush. Now, I am going to use black on the next part because that is actually his eyelash. So, Extend it out a little bit. I want to show you this. This is kind of fun. It's about done for the day. I'm not going to do line work up until the body, but you can see what's, what's happened. I'll do some shading uh, on his chest and his, his uh, cheeks. You'll see this picture uh, later on. And now I'm going to do a little bit of this. Let's see what we can do. There we go. I will probably come in here and make his tongue a little bit less red. Okay. Oops. Yeah. A little more water. That's a little too much. That's okay. I don't see that. Here. I want you to at least see this much of it. All right. Let's go back in a minute. And again, that's what I like. Oh, I don't know how that is. See, there you go. Oh, okay. Let me get that out. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, what is one of the fun things about doing a any kind of figure is the highlights you put and uh, his nose with the black nose so it's got a little bit of blue in that spot and one last thing for today is what i will put on his eye. 
and it brings them to life. Now I'm going to show you the close-up because you all asked for it. Sarah had for it. So I'm going to move this. Um, thank you all. Um, oh, we should hang out soon. Well, thank you, Nicholas. We'll talk about that. Um, and thank you all for joining me. This is, again, a treat for me. I enjoy doing it so much. And uh, I'm going to now show a close up here of the chipmunk. There we go. I'm trying to straighten that out. Okay. And there he is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it's been fun. And here's to all you Disney dreamers. Until next week. Thank you for joining me again. Talk to you soon. Bye. I said bye, and I'm going like I'm punching the button, going like that. Wow. If you're still with me. I'm still here. Am I still on? No, I'm not. Okay, it's done.